Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to define materials. Uh, first of all, let's double click on static structure to open the template. Alright, we define our materials with engineering data. And uh, let's double click to engineering data. Engineering data is, uh, section is working on workbench interface. New tab was created here. Now, firstly, um, um, as you can see, there is structure still here, which defined as settings. We will see materials uh, which defined here on workbench when we close this tab, and we can see the properties of materials that we defined. For example, Young's modulus, Poisson's ratio, Share modulus, tensile, and compressive ultimate strength. This kind of property is here. And on this blank page, uh, we can see charts, and above the charts, we can see properties of charts. <clears throat> now, if I do nothing about defining materials, the material will be structural still. And if um, if I want to add a material, uh, what do I do? And as you can see, uh, click here to add a new material. Just click once and uh, let's type a name as uh, material1 and press enter. Look materials uh, was defined and properties area is empty. We will define manually. Uh, for example, what do I want to define um, density? Here, under the physical properties, for example, I can direct the density from here to material 1 with holding left clicked. We need to fill the yellow area. What will I do uh, define as uh, isotropic elasticity, Young's modulus, and Poisson's ratio showed up here. For example, I need a tensile yield strength and ultimate strength. I can direct here directly or I can direct to material 1. Now, I mentioned about units previously. Let me ex explain display values as defined or project units options. For instance, uh, let's type 0.3 for Poisson's ratio. Young's modulus, I want to define it as 20 gigapascal. Uh, gigapascal is not here, so we need to convert it to MPA. Uh, I can just type it as 20,000 MPA, or in general, we can see this form 2A5. That means 2 plus 10 to 5 power. I think most of you know that. Let's look at the structure still now 2E10 to 11 power MPA. What was our unit? Uh, it's MPA. Uh, now, now maybe this arrow uh, icon is not here or enable. Uh, from units tab, please choose display values as defined. Um, if I choose to display values in project units, as you can see, the arrow icon disappeared. So we can just define the values as defined units we can change the units. Uh, if I change with other option, uh, we can select the units uh, as I want. And, and okay, let's assume we defined materials. What, what should I do now? Um, we can close here. Uh, we can close here if I want or just change the tab and continue your project. If I want to delete material that I defined, so simple, just right click and delete it. Okay, but I don't want to define materials. Don't we have any material sources? Uh, of course, we have here engineering data sources. Just click it. Okay, when we got here, we can see here the sources. Materials uh, in the sources are here, properties, charts, and charts properties. 
Uh, for example, general materials, uh, cloak it. Uh, what we got here, uh, structure steel, titanium alloy, stainless steel, uh, magnesium alloy, aluminium alloy, uh, etc. If I want to add aluminium alloy, there is just one thing that I need to do is click the plus icon. If you see this book, that means aluminium alloy will shown in engineering data. Uh, actually, uh, anyway, I couldn't change it. I think there is a problem. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's continue from here. Uh, let's look composite materials. What we have here, if you want to add one, just click the plus icon. Uh, let's go engineering data. I think I just misclicked before. You can change easily. We were in engineering data sources and now we are in engineering data. Okay. All right. Uh, Aluminium alloy is here as you can see so we can do something like that. I want to use aluminium alloy but I need to change some of the properties. Um, for example, I want to change the value of density and the others will be the same. And if you want, you can do the same process for others. Uh, what will I do? Uh, we can just... Uh, right click on aluminium alloy and click break link to source. After I click, the values will be changeable. For example, I will change the value of density to 2700. This changing will be saved in aluminium alloy for only this project. So if I close and open the workbench for a new project, the values that we changed will be set as default. Uh, all right, that's all for this video. Now, if you want, you can go to the project tab. You don't have to close engineering data, but you can. In engineering data, we have already green tick here. Uh, you um, you don't have to define uh, materials first. Uh, you can define it after geometry section or model. You can even define it when you are working in mechanical. Uh, but I propose to you it's better to define materials first. All right. See you next.